that whale needs and, and wants and craves attention. He's Mowgli the jungle boy of whales. This is so out there. He was somehow spunky. He was like he was engaging. He was kind of pushy. He was desperately lonely. This is like God's gift. It's almost as if an alien came down. He was brought here for some reason. I put my life on the line for his protection. He must have been like a child getting lost in a supermarket. He was just wandering up an aisle, turned around, and his family was gone. So he apparently decided that if you can't be with the species you are, make friends with the species you're with. When he pops up and he looks at you in a sort of contemplative way, then you would be mesmerized or something. That was my greatest honor is being able to be his friend. Friendship with that whale would have been the worst thing that you could have done to him. Touch this whale. Folks, this is not a watchable whale. You must take this vessel 100 meters out of this area. And who made those rules in the first place? This is now a lonely animal that's looking for comfort. Catching him, I believe, is really the right thing. Throw him in a cage or something. It's like, no way. I'm going to start crying. So we took a deep breath and we took a stand. All of my education and training involves things that you can somehow quantify. But there are these uncomprehendables almost, you know, these things out there that something's going on. There's just, there's nothing else like it. I've never experienced anything like it. You know, I love my dogs. I love all the animals I've ever had. But this was different. This was different.